All right, guys, we're back at it. Yep, you got it. We have another Gyarados Hidden Fates team. Got a few of these cold cards left over for you. Hope you guys enjoy those. Still hoping somebody's going to reach out and comment about what they've pulled. Thanks for the guy in a few videos back commenting on that Al Creamy. I mean, who doesn't love cake, right? So if you happen to be watching that, I got to chuckle out of that. So thank you. But yeah, if you guys are using these code cards, I am curious, especially if you pull something great. I'd like to see that you guys pull shiny Charizard, something like that out of the set. So there's our Gyarados again. That's a great card. That one and the one that comes in the set. There is one in the set. Right? Gyarados is always great. A little overshadowed. I don't I don't know why. Maybe he just doesn't play super well competitively, but he's always been one of my favorite. I got super excited when Pokemon Go came out for any of those. I'm sure anybody watching this was all with the craze early on. And um, you know, the thought of 400 Magikarp candies, I'll never forget at the time we my wife and I owned a townhome with the park behind us. It was like this and a little park and a little lake was our backyard. And I'll never forget, we had one of those trackers. You know, they took down a lot of those websites where they'd actually pop up nearby areas of where they were. It'd be rainstorm. And here I go with both our phones running the other side of the lake to snab, snatch a uh, virtual magic cart. But yeah, all that to say that Gyarados is a, uh, what I believe is a bit of an underrated Pokemon. So. But anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Slow poke. There we go. Decidueye GX. Now this, I want to say, is a dupe. I don't know if we pulled it on screen. But this one is a duplicate. So for anybody interested, I all of my dupes do end up on eBay. I usually just go with the eBay recommended price. Usually don't try to gouge folks too bad. It's just what it does is kind of have a bit of a system going where I'm getting about 60 or 70% return on the cards I buy, which keeps me going, keeps the content coming. And that's what makes Hidden Fates fun. Um, you tend to get a great return with the Hidden Fates packs, so that's nice. Because I do get tempted. You you walk into a Target where that's where this tin came from. You walk into a Target and uh, you see a pile of them sitting there, and it's tempting to want to grab them all, you know. And then you realize, hey, that's probably not the best idea to be spending that much. But just a thought, guys. If you happen to see that, we got lightning energy and wheezing. All right. Let's see. I hope he's hiding in one of these last two. Huh? Let's see if he's hiding back here for us. All right. Should we call our shot? We haven't called our shot in quite a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a high excitement, low probability call and say we're gonna pull gold here. Um, the Tapu Cocos, all of those aren't those gold. We don't have any of those. We've pulled Mount Coronet and one of the other two because there's four of those we pulled two. So it's not going to happen, but call my shot. Say we're going to pull gold. Staryu, Jigglypuff. <laughs> no! How does that happen? I, I've done that, I want to say, three times now. How do I, That's great. Oh. In the right chip. I'm, I'm going to get a couple of sleeves. How, how do we... I, first time we did that was with Darkness Ablaze. If you look back at one of my previous videos, Videos, I'll never forget calling out for Santa Scorch V Max. Do we look at the back? Sorry, guys, I'm a little, I'm a little flustered. 
Centering is off, but I do not care one bit. Centering on the front looks fine. Goodness gracious. Or as I say, look at that. That's incredible. Like, my trip is there. Man. I mean, I, I don't even want to call for anything in this one because... I mean, there's nowhere, nowhere to go but down from there. But goodness gracious. How does that even happen? We did that one other time. We did that with uh, Snorlax VMAX. I think that's hidden, or uh, Sword and Shield Base. Oh, yeah. Let's try this one. Sword and Shield Base set. And uh, that was a more recent video. Sorry, guys, for the noise. That was a more recent video, and I was commenting on how, outside of getting the the, the crazy rare stuff, you know, I think we still need three or, I want to say three gold cards from that set. That Snorlax VMAX with the trees on it was my, you know, the favorite card that I wanted to pull. And we happened to pull it in that episode. But, man alive. That's just nuts. That's That's really cool. All right. Hopefully that got you guys excited too, because I can't believe I did that. Ekans, Voltorb, Weezing, and Arbok. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. Oh, another tin that did us pretty well. As always, guys, consider hitting the thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I'll keep rolling out the content. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. See ya.